New at 5, the Alabama Department of Agriculture and Industries approved 180 applications throughout the state to grow hemp and over 50 more to process it. 16 of the approved applications are from right here in Madison County. Way 31 Stephen Dilsizian spent the day learning about what could be an important industry for the state. It comes from the same family as marijuana, and it's now legal in Alabama. Well, kind of. Hemp can be used for a lot of things like clothing, just like cotton and things like that. I think it can help the industry around here. Heather Gates supports the state granting legal licenses to grow, process, and study hemp. My mom suffered from seizures, so I felt like, you know, maybe if something, she would have had that option, it might have helped. The Alabama Department of Agriculture and Industries granted licenses to 152 hemp growers, 59 hemp processors, and five universities. I talked with the State Department today, and they tell me they believe hemp can be an important crop for the state. Hemp can be used to make many different products. In fact, the clothing that I'm wearing, fuel and gasoline, the shoes that I'm wearing, and even car parts can be made by using hemp. 16 licenses were approved here in Madison County. I called each one, but none would comment. The Madison District Attorney's Office and the Huntsville Police Department tell me since this is so new to the state, they're unsure how it will impact law enforcement. But it's still illegal to grow or process without a license. Hemp is defined as containing less than 0.3% of THC, the chemical found in marijuana. Samantha Tillery knows this isn't problem free. I mean, realistically, there's dangers with anything, you know, and sad to say there's people out here robbing people for drugs and all sorts of stuff. But Gates is on board and is willing to give the new crop a chance. I think a lot of people judge before they really do a lot of research on things and they just say what they've heard. In Huntsville, Stephen Delcisian. Way 31 News. The Alabama Department of Agriculture and Industries tells Way 31 to receive a license, a person must pay over $1,000.